Finding outfits to wear in summer can be such a chore, especially if you live in the UK like I do. You never know what you're gonna need. Are you gonna need an umbrella? Are you gonna need a bikini? Are you gonna need snow boots? No, seriously, are you gonna need snow boots? The temperatures here fluctuate like no one's business and it is really hard to nail a summer look. I'm gonna show you today some of my summer favorites that are from Killstar. Now this video sadly isn't sponsored by Killstar, although I wish it was because I really do love their clothing, but I thought I would show you some of my favorite summer Killstar outfits from my wardrobe that I've paid for with my own money. I guess all that's left to do is get out of my dressing gown and start trying on those outfits, right? So, this is our first look. What do we think? What I forgot to mention here is that most of these looks, actually all of these looks are very pin-up, rockabilly, goffabilly vibes because that's the style I really personally like. So this dress, I think embodies all of it. It's got that pin up shape and style, but it has a sneaky little skull print all over it. And that gives it that extra sort of goffabilly, psychobilly edge in my opinion. And yeah, I love this dress. I love the material and how swishy it is. Like it just, it feels really nice on and it has no pockets, which is obviously a down point. But apart from that, I love it. Let me showcase it to you better than just standing here though. I'm gonna show you how it walks. I'm gonna show you a 360. You know, your girl's always got you. I'm really glad that I decided to pick up one of these rotating plates because it just makes showing off outfits so much more fun. Like the fact that you get a 360 view of this dress right now, brilliant, right? So obviously, like I said, I love this dress. It's super comfy and you can dress it up, dress it down. It's like the perfect summer vibes, going to the beach, just going for a shopping trip, coffee date, whatever. It is perfect, easy, breezy. We are here for it. And of course it's got skulls all over it. My party tricks don't just stop there. I do also have a walking pad now. Hi, hello, how are you? And I love this purchase too, because it means I can show you the outfit in motion. You're able to see the shoes that I've got on. So I have teamed this dress with some white socks and creepers. And these creepers actually match the dress design. So the little skull matches the skulls on the dress so it's all like a little matchy matchy moment and I am honestly here for it. Now obviously I said the skirt was swishy and if you wanted to be extra you could totally put a petticoat underneath it. This isn't from Killstar, pretty much everything in this video is but the little petticoat to match my hair is not but let's put it on and show you what a difference it makes I guess. Petticoat on dress fluffing activated and yeah as you can see it's gave the skirt way more zhuzh we love a zhuzh it's definitely a personal preference whether you want to wear a petticoat or not under a dress like this sometimes i really can't be bothered because it's an extra layer and it's hot and i just want more casual vibes but it does make it super fun and playful and gives the dress way more structure because obviously realistically Dresses like this were kind of made to have a petticoat. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if you do or don't. It does give it a fuller shape if you do wear one. And I just love the flash of like pink to match my hair with this dress. So I guess we take another look at it on with the petticoat now. Now the 360 of me wearing the petticoat, you can see that the dress is so much fuller and has way more like zhuzh to it, as I was saying. And I just love that flash of pink with the petticoat and my hair just ties it all so nicely together, I feel. Now, of course you could have kept this outfit monochrome by picking a black or a white petticoat to wear underneath, or maybe just your favorite color petticoat. Maybe it's purple or red, whatever. The fun thing about this dress is that any color would have gone with it. And I love that. Petticoats are an own personal preference and a creative flair, I feel like, to just add a little bit of something extra to any outfit you have in your wardrobe. So now we've taken a closer look at this dress with a petticoat on underneath it. What are we saying? With 
or with L. Either way, it doesn't really matter because I love this dress. Sometimes it's nice to not have an extra layer on if it's super warm. That petticoat is made of tulle, so you've got to remember that that is like an itchy, hot material in the summer. But like I said, if you want to do that, you can do that. More power to you. Most of the time, I'm just lazy and won't wear one. And on that note, I think I should get changed so we can take a look at our second outfit. Be right back. So next up, we have this two-piece outfit. Now, if your eyes are good, you'll be able to see that the skull pattern is the same that was all over the swing dress I just had on. Now, I know that this is a bit more covered up for summer, but like I said, I'm from the UK, so this sometimes is plenty because it's kind of cold outside still. So having the longer skirt and the top, which is a crop top, which you can't really see because I've tucked it in to the pencil skirt, works perfectly when you've got like a cool breeze. So obviously, like I said, this is our second look. Slightly different to the first, but we're still going with the sort of skirt dress kind of vibes. And um, yeah, what do we think? I personally really love this skull design, if you couldn't tell, because I bought the dress previously with this pattern. And obviously now I've got the top and the skirt that match. Because when you like something, you should buy it multiple times, right? That's what I did. I like this whole range that they did. And I was like, you know what? Kind of going to need everything from it. Although I didn't buy everything, just most of it. And I'm going to show you now what this looks like from 360 and also in motion. I feel like this outfit even makes me act and stand different. I don't know. Anyone else get that vibe? Maybe it's the pencil skirt. It's bringing out some office chic in me. Obviously, you girls never worked a day in her life when it comes to an office. Well, I am in my own office right now, but I'm in leggings. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> but if I did work in an office, I'd probably look something like this on a daily basis. You know, cash but i love that the creepers the skirt and the top match now all three matchy matchy not just two now i've upped the levels to three i told you i loved that skull print i really wasn't lying because here i am wearing all three items with that skull print on and i'm not even mad at it you might be but i know for certain that i'm not mad at it so what we saying rate or hate this one i guess as well looking at it if you work in an office or something like that it could be like corporate goth. I obviously don't work in an office, but I think maybe you could probably get away with it. I don't know. I don't know how those rules sort of work, but it's given me those vibes that potentially you could wear it to work and still maybe be within the dress guidelines if you work somewhere like that. I'm not sure. All I know is this is a fun vibe that I like wearing with creepers or trainers, just like a casual, but classy vibe, classy isn't something you're going to hear me say here a lot at all, ever. Just give me this, okay? Give me this moment because I don't know when I'm going to get a next moment to say it's got a classy vibe to it. That's true. With that being said, perhaps I should see if I've got anything else classy waiting for us in this clothing haul. I wouldn't hold your breath though. Don't say I didn't warn you when I said I doubt I had anything else classy. This, of course, is like one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see why, you know, a leopard print number. It's what I'm kind of known for at this point, I feel like, but I do love this dress. It's very different to the first one because obviously it's more of a wiggle dress. So it's very like, is the best way. I can describe it. Bodycon probably is the more technical term. I really love this dress for a multitude of reasons you can probably tell. I love the detailing on the neck. It's such an interesting neckline in general. It also has a little skull here. I love the print as well. I just love it. It's like a really nice tone. If you're a leopard print fan, that will make sense to you. But yeah, overall, probably my favorite dress. The only issue with this one is uh, 
gets a little sweaty where it's so like, like I said. So um, yeah, bear that in mind. If you think about wearing a bodycon dress in summer, this might have inspired you to do so. Very, very nice, looks great, but on hotter days, it's gonna be a sweat fest. And that's just me being truthful, okay? Apart from that, I do love it. This could be worn to anything, any time of the year, of course, but you can also make it really chill and every day by just dressing it down and making it more casual. And we're gonna see what I've styled it with. Now we are going straight in with a 360 view of the dress first and I love the material of this dress. It's super stretchy and figure hugging in all of the right places. Annoyed at myself that I let the back label be out but don't worry about it. Just ignore that it's even there. Please ignore that it's there. And of course I styled it with the creepers again to give it that casual vibe. Now the detailing on this dress is stunning and the hardware and that zip at the front unzips all of the way down. Yes it is a working zip and it is an interesting feature to say the least and of course that harness neckline i love all the detailing on these dresses it's so well made so well fitting i'm not saying that this dress is my favorite but this dress is kind of my favorite and i'm wondering is it yours too probably not you lot all seem to hate leopard print i seem to love it you know I've got to put one in here at least, right? It's me after all. Now we've had our leopard print moment, which totally isn't classy. Let's see what else I've got waiting for you, shall we? Because uh, I think you're going to like the next one. Huh? I told you you're going to like it. Now, this is our penultimate outfit. Hmm. Did you know I'd know that word? I think I'm using it right, but uh, this is our second to last outfit. You're welcome. I have a feeling that you'll like this one, probably more than the leopard print one, because you seem to like more casual vibes and less tacky ones. But uh, you know, each to their own. This is still kind of tacky, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. It's skulls with a hawaiian print so it's like a hawaiian dad shirt but gothic you know gotta keep it all as soon as i saw it i was like i'm gonna need it I'm, I'm gonna need that in my wardrobe now the fun thing about this outfit is it's a skirt and a top so obviously you can mix and match in your wardrobe which we love we like a multiple moment so you can pair this with like a plain black top and you can pair this with like a pair of shorts whatever so you get multiple outfits out of it which i think is a great idea because less is more but more is also more and you all know i like to shop so uh, yeah i'm a less is more and a more is more and a more is even more kind of gal but I like getting multiple outfits out of a couple of pieces. I think that's great, especially if you're going on holiday and you have a sort of luggage limit. Taking two separates that work together, but also with other things gets you multiple outfits throughout the week without feeling like, oh, I'm wearing the same thing because, you know, I see you. I see that you wear the same outfit all week around the house, whatever. But when you go on holiday, mm, you ain't gonna have the same outfit twice in one week. I get it. I do exactly the same. So uh, yeah, having separates helps with the luggage. When you go away, I'm just saying, it's like a little extra tip. And I think we should take a closer look at this now. 360, walking, let's do it all because it deserves its moment just like the rest of them. You'd think I'd be dizzy by now, right? But guess what? I wasn't. As you can see here, the only thing that bothers me about this combo is the top and the skirt are slightly different shades of like black and I think it's because the materials are totally different so the top is like a soft jersey type material and the skirt is more robust and stretchy a bit like the leopard print dress we've just had and that's why obviously it's so figure hugging. I do love the combo and that's just me nitpicking but I guess you probably saw it too. And I've teamed it with some boots that I've got from Killstar because I love a boot moment. Verdict, are we rating it? Are we hating it? Let me know, you know I like to know. But it is very 
like I said about the other dress, so if it's really warm, you know what I said, it's gonna be sweaty, but it has those tropical Hawaiian vibes, so that saves it, right? The last outfit I have for you guys is a slightly different gear change, but also it's totally not, it's totally the same. And I'm gonna go put it on so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So uh, don't go anywhere. So, last one. Like I said, different kind of vibe, but also very summer-like, especially if you're from a colder country like me, like the UK. I've got a pair of pedal pushers on if you're from the 90s or capri pants as they're respectfully known and I have a cute little halter top which has this contiki moment on now I didn't realize when I purchased it I was so drawn to the design on the front I was just obsessed with it so much so that I also bought like a bowling shirt don't know why I'm using quotation marks. I bought a bowling shirt that has it on the back, but I chose to put the halter on for you because I feel like it's more summer and that's more like springtime. But it has this design on the back and it's lush. And I just was like, huh, when I was looking at it the other day, it's by Vince Ray. And if you know Vince Ray, you know Vince Ray. He's like iconic in like the pinup design sort of world. So it was really cool to realize that actually this is a Vince Ray design and that's probably why I really like it too. It isn't as breathable because it's obviously very restrictive, it's very tight fitted and it's more for lower summer temperatures. So the UK has a habit of having the sun out but actually being freezing cold and this is an outfit that's perfect for that vibe where it's a little bit chilly but the sun is shining and you want to feel summer but it's not summer and i guess it's also perfect for those evenings if you're going to a country which is really warm in the day and cooler at night i mean i don't know it depends how constricted you like to be in heat but i think that this is a perfect emergency weather in the summer kind of vibe because it still feels summery even though it's all black yes i know it is well covered and will keep you a little bit warmer on days where it's not so great outside. You know, with that being said, let's take a closer look at it. See it walking, see it in motion, do a 360 moment. Your girl, she's got it all here. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this outfit makes me feel a certain way. I'm not sure why, because it's so simple, but I think it's because it fits so well. Now, the fabric on those capri pants is a bit like the leopard print dress. It's super stretchy and super comfy. And for a shorter girl, it's really nice to find trousers that fit me well. If you know, you know. And here I am wearing green mules with it. And I thought it was a perfect tie-in to the green on my top. And it's that little pop of colour and I personally love it. I know they won't be for everyone and sadly these are not from Killstar. I got these in Primark for three quid. I couldn't resist them. They are super comfy and they have only a small heel so they're perfect for you know going out. I find them fine. I know that they might be a bit outrageous for some of you so you can team it with whatever you wanted but for me personally I love that these tie in all of the colours and just add a fun pop of colour considering the rest of the outfit is so dark. Well, that's it, I guess. You've seen all of my Killstar pin-up summer vibe outfits that I really enjoy wearing this time of year. Maybe it's gave you some inspiration to pick out some stuff in your wardrobe and put it together or pick some stuff up. I'm not sure. Hopefully you've had fun watching this video, though. They take me ages and although I really enjoy doing them, they stress me out so much. I get really nervous with the mic because I've not used it much, so hopefully this video sounds okay and you've enjoyed it and got this far let me know if you would like me to do any more videos like this in the future because like i said they are kind of stressful to try and do by yourself but also they're a lot of fun i love fashion i love clothing i love the more goffabilly pin-up style look as well so i just really enjoy wearing outfits, showing them off, showcasing them to you. So if it is something you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. And also, whilst you're at it, let me know which outfit is your favorite because out of the lot, I actually wouldn't like to say or take a guess what you're gonna pick. Although, 
maybe it would be like the first dress with the big petticoat as I know, you know, you all seem to like big flowy dresses. You know which one is my favorite already. Like you don't need to ask me because it's quite clearly obvious. It's obviously the Hawaiian print. Just kidding. I do really love the outfit though. It's obviously the leopard print. Why am I even joking? I don't know. I've had a really good time. It's been really warm here in the UK, so it's been really fun trying to squeeze into these outfits whilst being a hot mess. But, you know, that's just some behind the scenes info that you don't really need to know. And yet, here I am sharing it just with you. Aren't you lucky? I guess all that's really left for me to say is take care. And I will, of course, see you in another video soon. Has everyone gone? Huh, you're still here. Well, if you're looking for something else to watch, may I suggest the next videos? Because I have a feeling you're also gonna like those too.